Hi friends, it's Mr. Whalen. I am back with another story. Um, this one's all kinds of fun. We read one of these books once before. It was different. This one is called Chicks and Salsa. Some people love chips and salsa. This is Chicks and Salsa. Uh, it's by Aaron, Reynold, Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Paulette Bogan. Now, the one before was called Buffalo Wings. It's somewhere on YouTube out there. Um, anyway, Buffalo Wings was the one we read before this. Chicks and Salsa, I don't know which book came first, but it's by the same author and illustrator, and it's all kinds of fun. So let's get into that. Another one of those books that's all about food and farm animals. Chicks and Salsa by Aaron Reynolds, illustrated by Paulette Bogan. Now they've even got recipes in here. This is a recipe for wild hog nachos. No, no, hog wild nachos, that is. I won't read you the whole recipe. If you like that, you can find the book at your library or maybe online. Chicks and Salsa. Here's the pigs eating her sandwich. <laughs> hmm, these guys gotta be hungry. Hmm, here we go. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. Mrs. Nuthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on a fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Salsa! Led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa, though nobody was quite certain where the chickens got the chips. The tasty tang of tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole! Very soon, there were mumblings at the duck pond of Nuthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. With the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocado. The spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard, and the duck said, Ole! The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nuthatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aromas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. While the rooster distracted Farmer Nuthatcher, the pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. <laughs> that night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. The delightful deliciousness of cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pigs said, Ole! As everyone knows, when the passion for southwestern cuisine takes hold of farm animals, and so many sumptuous, spicy, savory scents collide in the barnyard air, it can only lead to one thing. Fiesta! The rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The horses decorated the barn. The bull practiced his Mexican hat dance, though nobody was quite certain where the bull got the sombrero. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden. But all their spicy southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen. The peppers had been pilfered. The limes had been lifted. But there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nuthatcher Farm. Stirred by the succulent smells in the barnyard, Mrs. Nuthatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. The saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nuthatcher said, Ole! 
Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. But while the nuthatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept back into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce, though nobody was quite certain where the rooster learned how to read. <laughs> A satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak, and the rooster said, Ooh la la. And we got a couple more recipes here. One for guacamole. That'd be a guacamole recipe. And uh, one for rooster's roasted salsa. So, and those are real recipes too if you're interested. You get those and have mom or dad or some grown up at home maybe make those at home. <laughs> okay. Chicks and salsa. That is a fun read. I like doing fun voices and I like fun stories where, I don't know, it's just a fun story. It's about food and farm animals and just, you know, being sneaky and having fun with rhymes and words and, and yeah, it's a fun read. Books are important and they should be fun. All right, I will see you for another story next time. Thanks for coming. Bye.